Tragedy strikes the football world as 27-year-old Juan Izquierdo passes away just days after collapsing on the pitch during their Copa Libertadores game in Brazil. Stay with us as we uncover the heartbreaking details of his sudden death and the impact it has left on the world of football. Wondering what led to the untimely death of Juan Izquierdo? Stick around as we delve into the events leading up to his collapse, his battle for survival, and the tributes pouring in from across the globe. A sudden collapse on the pitch. Juan Izquierdo's tragic story began during a Copa Libertadores match at Sao Paulo's Morumbi Stadium. The game took a horrifying turn when Izquierdo suddenly collapsed on the pitch, leaving fans and players in shock. He was rushed to Hospital Albert Einstein, where doctors discovered he had suffered a cardiorespiratory arrest linked to cardiac arrhythmia. A fight for survival. For days, Izquierdo fought for his life in the hospital, with his condition initially reported as stable. However, as time passed, his health took a turn for the worse. On Sunday, he was placed on a ventilator, and by Monday, he was under critical neurological care due to increasing intracranial pressure. Despite the medical team's efforts, Izquierdo's battle ended tragically, leaving the football community in mourning. A promising career cut short. Izquierdo's career, though brief, was marked by promise and potential. He started at local club Cerro in 2018 and quickly made his mark with his athletic prowess and sharp defensive skills. His journey took him to Penarol, Montevideo Wanderers, and even a stint in Mexico with San Luis. Returning to Nacional in 2022, Izquierdo became a key player for the team and was instrumental in Liverpool's historic Uruguayan League title in 2023. A heartfelt farewell. Izquierdo's passing has left a deep void, not just for his club, Nacional, but for the entire football community. Nacional's heartfelt statement reflects the immense grief felt by his teammates and fans alike. South American football's governing body also paid tribute, highlighting the loss of a player who had so much more to give. Uruguay's first and second division leagues were even postponed out of respect for Izquierdo's condition, showing just how much he meant to the sport. Juan Izquierdo's untimely death is a sobering reminder of how fragile life can be, even for those in peak physical condition. Our thoughts are with his family, friends, and fans during this incredibly difficult time. What are your memories of Izquierdo on the pitch? Share them in the comments below, and if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest in football news. Thank you for watching!